News 3 is revealing new information in an investigation that has gained the attention of the entire state. Our investigative team, the first to report a former Chesapeake basketball coach is in prison for a robbery he says he did not commit. Brian Falcon has spent the past decade trying to prove he is not the one who robbed a pizza delivery woman in 2012. Our exclusive investigations revealed the DNA evidence does not connect Falcon to the crime and now We've uncovered phone records that show Falcon was texting around the same time the victim says she was robbed. It's part of a string of new details we're unveiling in an extended special report on the News 3 streaming app. I'll tell you how to find that in just a moment, but first let me catch you up to speed in this investigation. As we first revealed last month, the victim said she was 100% sure Falcon was the man who robbed her off Eden Way on the night of January 23rd, 2012. But DNA evidence does not connect Falcon to the crime. We also learned the black gun Falcon legally owned did not match the silver gun the victim described to police in her 911 call. Our team also learned the surveillance video image of this man, a different man who robbed a 7-Eleven nearby that same night who matched the victim's description of the man who robbed her. This image was never shown to the victim as part of a suspect lineup. The jury that convicted Falcon didn't see it either. In fact, it did not surface until after Falcon was convicted in a third trial in 2018. Police never found that 7-Eleven robber. The man Falcon believes should be behind bars instead of him. I automatically assumed that that was it. Like I should have been, you know, charges should have been dropped. Now Falcon is hoping a list of head scratching details in this case will convince Governor Northam to set him free before he leaves office next month. Only on WTKR.com and the News 3 streaming app, we reveal more about Falcon's phone records the night of the robbery and the dispute over what led police dogs to Falcon's door that night. You can see our extended in-depth report starting at 1230 today on the News 3 streaming app available to download for free on Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV and Android TV. You'll find my report under the News 3 Investigates section. You can also see all of our coverage in this case, including what state leaders are saying about Falcon's efforts right now at WTKR.com.